I'm new to Tenkara, and I find myself wishing I had a little bit more line out sometimes, you know, just because I want to reach a little bit further. I'm curious to know how long of lines you use for an X length rod, uh, you know, on a typical day. Sure. Um, you can experiment for sure. I mean, I kind of have two lines that I always carry with, with me what I consider a short line and a long line. Overall, it's three lines that I have. So a short line, if I'm fishing, I know I'm gonna go out and most of the streams are small. I'm gonna have a 12 foot line plus four feet of tippet, 15, 17 feet of line. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, 12 foot line, four feet of tippet, 15 foot line, four feet of tippet. So I'll carry those two lines with me. If I happen to get into a big river that I wasn't planning to, I can join the two lines together, fish 27 feet. Uh, if I'm going somewhere with bigger waters, my short line might be 17 foot, my long line is gonna be 20 feet. So I carry, I have three lines that I kind of, uh, you know, pretty much pick. And I should mention, it's not something you're gonna be adjusting a lot throughout the day. I mean, I really keep pretty much one line on throughout the day, pretty much anywhere I go almost. Uh, but I do have that option. And in terms of wishing for a little bit more reach, I'm, um, you know, I'd say, using your feet a little bit more, but very importantly, knowing that the fish are not always in that pool. If you can reach it, you know, you're not gonna always be able to reach the fish 100 feet away. And those fish, I always joke that they're trying to distract you. They're trying to be like, hey, look at me and stop focusing on your, their friends nearby. So focus on the waters that you can fish very effectively. And I think that's a little bit more important than what length of line you can use. Um, up to twice the length of the rod, I'd say, is kind of like the maximum I go. はい、私はあの、フライラインを、え、だいたい3種類持っています。いつも。そのライン、I Thirty so I always select the best one for, according to the width of the, uh, of the river. And the important thing is uh, casting. So I would uh, pick up the best uh, length of the line uh, um, according to the width of the river. Yeah, for, you know, dry fly fishing, you want to keep it very short line. You want to keep as much line off the water as you can just to fly. So, you know, 12 feet to 15 max. Um, for wet fly fishing, where I'm quartering down, I, I use a 20-foot line almost always. Um, I mean, here's a situation, classic. I was fishing the Boulder River in Montana, and there was a fish clear on the other side of the river. I couldn't reach it with a 20-foot line, so I, I carry a 12-foot line and an 8-foot line. And I have, so I, I took it off the lily end, my 20-foot line off. I added an 8-foot an line onto, the, onto it. Um, I describe this in my book. It's very easy to do. So it, you can extend the length of your line to 28 feet. Or you, you can even put the 12-foot line onto the 20-foot line and have a 32-foot line if you want. And you can handle that with some Tenkara rods. So I cast clear across the river, nabbed this about 24-inch rainbow. I mean, it's an unbelievable fish. And of course, I couldn't handle it, so I threw the rod in. <laughs> and I just sat there and, you know, you can smoke a joint or something, wait around for a while. And the fish races around doing this all over the place and then he goes back to where I hooked it. And my rod is, you know, 30 feet downstream from him. 
So I had to run, you know, about an eighth of a mile upstream to cross the river. There was a house on the other side. Everyone came outside on the porch to see what was going on. I ran down the river, reached down, grabbed my rod, and landed the fish. <laughs> now, that was a memorable day. <laughs>